down. I'm count zero. This week, after a long absence, sort of, I have another video game review for you. Though with one that doesn't really work with the same degree of breakdown that I normally use for my review topics. Specifically, I'm talking to you about Lego Batman for the Xbox 360. From a story standpoint, this game follows your standard Lego game formula. You get a cutscene with no dialogue, just impersonations and humorous affectations, explaining the level that you're going to play. You go through the level, beating up dudes, destroying destructible parts of the environment to get little points, building stuff, and collecting collectibles. But not all the collectibles, because some of them are out of reach right now. And then you trigger a cutscene, go through, go through a bit more gameplay, fight a boss, end the level. And then once you've done this, you unlock new suits, new characters, various other things, which give you new abilities. Then you go back through the level again in free play, find the new areas that you couldn't get to before, and get new stuff. And just keep doing this over and over again until you unlock everything and beat all the levels and get 100% completion. Just like in every other LEGO game. Now, the controls are pretty much the same from all the other LEGO games that you've played, except for LEGO Rock Band. Jumping is fairly good and solid, though there are some problems with the camera, which are in all the other LEGO games. However, while the camera is a bit of a difficulty, it's not something that's going to hurt your gameplay experience much, because you don't get set back much when you die. Instead, you just go back to the nearest stable platform that you landed on, you maybe lose some points, but that's it. There's no game over in the LEGO games. And my one complaint of, of all of this is related, to the, is related to the story, which will seem odd since I dismissed the story earlier. Frankly, with all the other games that we've gotten with the LEGO brand, they've all played off some other franchise. The franchise's story, their franchise's main events. Best example being the Star Wars and Indiana Jones and, well, Pirates of the Caribbean games. They adapt the story of the relevant films and add their humorous little spin to them, which works because they're humorous material. Here instead, the Lego game, Lego Batman, puts together a new and original story, but one which doesn't really mesh. It feels like episodes of the new of the old Adam West TV series, except with new Batman characters, or rather newer Batman characters like Bane and Killer Croc, and that sort of thing in them. To be fair, for a very large part, this is because the best Batman plots are kind of dark and serious. Whereas, on the other hand, the plots of the Star Wars films, the plots of Pirates of, Car Pirates of the Caribbean, the plots of the, of the Indiana Jones movies are all kind of funny. They all have their significant degree of humor to them. Yes, they have their darker moments. Pirates of the Caribbean has as a great example, the opening of Pirates of the Caribbean 3, with the various pirate sympathizers of all ages being hung. And Indiana Jones has lots of messy deaths. Faces melting off and then exploding, people aging into skeletons and then finally to dust, people's hearts getting pulled out of their chest and then lowered into lava and catching on fire, all that sort of stuff. But for all of that, there's also a, there's a lot of humor there. Batman, on the other hand, with the exception of the Adam West era Batman, is not known for its humor. It's known for being dark, serious, and, well, grim. The Joker might disagree with the total absence of humor in the comics, but, well, I mean, frankly, I mean, I can't see a way to make the killing joke actually funny. Not again, it's funny in the Joker sense, of a twisted mindset like the Joker, but in the sense of, you know, normal people, that's not a funny arc. That's serious and grim. That's the reason why we, that's the reason why we like it. Night Quest, Night's End, Nightfall, actually, reverse order, Nightfall, Night's Quest, Night An Night's End. It's a very good arc in total. I mean, yes, the Azrael Batman was not necessarily well taken at the time, and is still 
only really liked because it was temporary. But, while it's a decent arc, any humor there is unintentional. With a few exceptions. But, when it comes to Batman, it's not a comedic character. It's a hero who's a hero because of tragedy. And unlike Spider-Man, who tries to somewhat make up for it from the humor standpoint by being a, by wisecracking and that sort of thing, his Batman is a character defined by drama, by drama, by tragedy in a city that has numerous tragedies. So you can't make that funnier. They try, and some of the humor here works, but. It's one of the cases where adapting an existing story arc from the comics wouldn't fit as well as comedy than it would in a more serious game. Now for my verdict. I mean, this is not a game that really hooks you in with story. It hooks you in with gameplay mechanics. This is a game that is addictive and drives that collector's instinct to find every collectible, to explore everything. And there's nothing wrong with that. That's a pre that's good game design. They wouldn't necessarily try to fix this. I mean, there's not much to fix. Okay, maybe you could change the you could change the franchise, use a different hero. But honestly, this is a game which everything it sets out to do, it succeeds at. If I was to change anything at all about this, really, I might pick a different DC hero, or I might make it a straight-up Justice League thing, or I might even use the Batman Brave and the Bold license, where instead of just being stuck with Batman, we have a broader variety of characters from the DC Universe, and so we can fit in some humor from, oh, Booster Gold to this and make it more amusing and interesting that way. But, other than that, this game succeeds. Traveler's Tales has made many, many LEGO games. They know what you need to do to succeed. They know what it takes to do this well. And, they do it. And I can't argue with that. I can't dispute that. It's a good game. I wouldn't call this a game for everyone, though. If you are want a Batman simulator, this isn't the place to be. You want Batman Arkham Asylum, or the upcoming Arkham City for that. If you're looking for a more humorous take on existing story, you would never have found that in the Batman franchise anyway, unless they really started diving into the Golden Age material, or the early Silver Age material. So, if you want a Lego game that's humorously, humorously taking existing story, pick one of the other Lego games. Go for Pirates of the Caribbean, go with Indiana Jones, definitely go with Star Wars. If you're looking for, um, basically, a fun collect-a-thon where you can play with your kids, and will get the kids hooked and interested in playing the game more and more, because of the exploration aspect of things, of trying to figure out new ways to do things and what it takes to access certain areas, that's definitely something that, that will should be interesting. And this is actually, frankly, a great co-op game. If you're looking for a game to play with your kids, if you're a parent, this is the perfect game for you. This and the other LEGO games. It is inoffensive. It is fun. It has loads of replay value. And I'd say if you bought, said, told your kids, we're only going to buy one game for a course of, oh, a month or two months or a, qu or a quarter, this is a, good this, this is a good game for that. You could probably get at least a whole month worth of gameplay just in terms of playing a game for an hour at a time and going through levels and exploring and unlocking new characters and finding new things. So this is good for that. If you're looking for, well, something that's not the standard LEGO game, this isn't that. This is every LEGO game, except for LEGO Rock Band. 
if you don't like the other LEGO games, but you want something of the humorous LEGO style, get LEGO Rock Band. But, otherwise, this is a good game. At least give it a rental and check it out. Till next time, I'm Count Zero. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.